Alrighty, how we doing everybody? This is Bobby Gaines, otherwise known as Chaos Blur. Welcome to uh, the first stream of June, but also another exciting rocket racing stream. That was my game idling for a second because I left it uh, still for a bit. But uh, I'll tell you what's not going to be still is these rocket racers as we come barreling down the tracks at all kinds of high speeds. But once again, thank you guys for tuning in today uh, on this Saturday morning. Uh, June 1st, as I mentioned before, kicking off a new month with an old classic. Well, not really classic. I think this game came out like last year, but anyway. Classic to me, and uh, hopefully we're going to have a classically great time. More, right now. Oh yeah. Rev up those engines. <laughs> Hope you revved up those fryers. Hey, yo. Ooh, looking for players. 12 out of 12 joined. Here we go. These are cool brake lights, I will say. Jackrabbit. I know they added some new tracks to this game. Then again, they've added new tracks like pretty much ever since I started the game. That was my whole joke, is that there's like no tracks in the game, but well, they've definitely remedied that, so now the only issue is how much I suck at the game. Nah, I'm, I'm okay. This track feels new? I can't tell if it actually is. Nah, I think I did this one last time, too. Still a cool track. I like that they're starting to incorporate more Rocket League environments, obviously, since this isn't based very much on Rocket League, but I love that they're doing that since, you know, Rocket League had some pretty cool, like, background environments. It's like Neo Tokyo in the background, I think, which is one of the old tracks. In fact, even the uh, curvature of this track, the way it goes up into, like, kind of a basin here, very reminiscent of that Rocket League track, at least the original one. They've since updated that track in the real Rocket League, but they have not updated it here because they want to go for that more, you know, slopey style for a race. Makes sense to me. So, I'm curious if we have any other Rocket League racers or Rocket Racers on the stream watching right now. Like, what is your strategy as it comes to conserving boost? Because I know you can save up your boost up to, like, three levels. 
But do you like to do that? Or in my case, I just like kind of, I use it like as soon as I get it. Except maybe on the final lap. Final lap, I might keep a boost in reserve just for that last stretch. If I can help it. Sometimes I fall behind in the race and I need to use it. Oh, that was a freaking cool drift right there. With the speed boost. So part of this game is like memorizing the tracks, where the boosts are going to be, where the like big hills to get the best jumps are going to be. It's not always like super obvious. Like right here is usually a good place to use boost. Gets you toward the next lap quicker, you know, like, but if you don't race this track a lot, and not saying I do, but if you don't race this track like a lot, you're not going to remember where that hill is or where the next curve is or any of that. So I guess my main question <laughs> had nothing to do with any of that, but it was mainly like, you know, like, you could save up to like, I think, three boosts in reserve. Now, most players, I feel like, just burn them as soon as I get them. That's what I'm doing. In fact, I'm going to do it right now try and keep up in this race with the, uh, the top racers here. Although it is the final lap, and I do like to save up a couple boosts, because that last stretch can be pretty crazy. You can fall from, like, third to, like, tenth place really quickly if you're not careful. Uh, like, right now, the race is, like, already almost over. Did I get to I'm gonna say, I thought I was fifth, but, yeah, I was fifth. So I'm like watching the score, and I'm like, am I in fourth or fifth here? Because it said fourth, but I kept slipping into fifth. All right, just outside that top four. That's okay. Let's see my ranking recap. 78% into gold one. Obviously, I got to wait for the race to complete before I can select next race. And i just be here checking my chat for a brief second here. As we get this rocket racing action underway. Hey, yo. More right now. Next race. Let's go. Well, it said next race. That doesn't mean there actually will be one. But if there was. Tell you right now. Oh, here we go. You can customize your controls in the settings menu. Ah, who knew? Wait, isn't this like the same exact course? I want to see what the name of this course is. Because this looks like the exact same course. Like, not even like, you know, a close version of it. Hey, what's going on, Lena Rem? Morning, my friend. Alright. Ah, damn it. That was that was Fortnite. Fortnite just crashed. Banana protein drink. That does not sound very good. Not enough players joined. Oh, that is a problem. There you go. Neon Rush update. I do enjoy that happy beeping. More beeping right after this. Hey, what's going on, Randy? How you doing today? Alright. That's what I like to see. Not even ten minutes into the stream. We got a couple people chilling here with me. A little Rocket League... Well, rocket Racing morning action. The server's a little bit slow today. It's actually not me this time. All right, at least we're on a different course. I mean, I like the Jackrabbit course. I didn't really want to race it again. Who's ready to put the pedal to the metal here? This is Seaside Farms. I think this might be a new one. If not, it's not one I've been on, I've been on often because I usually do the desert courses. Not that I have a choice. Well, I like this music. The music kicks in into overdrive pretty early on. Speaking of overdrive, let's see if I can get a boost early on here. 
Oh, it looks like I can. Oh, I like this track. Very curvy. The yard sale, surprisingly not. Uh, oh, look at that alternate path. Okay, all right. I feel I feel you, Seaside Farms. I almost jumped off the track there. Woo! Almost sounds like sounds like Sonic music. No, I'm okay with that. Whoa, okay, that was almost really bad. Woohoo! Woohoo! Okay, okay! Whew, I don't know if I was supposed to do that, but I did it. It is done. How about you, Randy? Any any yard sales today? Is this a yard sale day? Is this like National Yard Sale Day? I don't even know. What the heck is happening? Holy crap, that is all me. That's not going to help me any. A lot of trouble keeping my car on the track right now. If I wasn't having trouble keeping my car on the track, then I'd probably be doing a lot better, wouldn't I? Woo -hoo 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 yeah, right here is what cost me a lot of time when I got stuck on that roof and just kept going upside down forever. is on here we go Oof. oh this plankton would say well this stinks this is, this is intense I will give you that one oh well, we got dark sage on the stream and unfortunately I am not gonna finish higher than eighth in that race ninth Come to our yard sale. We sell the current, say, Red Sox team, but if you buy them now, you'll get the ownership for free. Uh, I still think you're overpaying a little bit there. I do enjoy say, Dark Sage's ongoing commentary about the uh, Red Sox. Not that he's wrong. Well, you should be happy. The Royals are doing pretty well. I mean, not just for the Royals. Like, they're doing well in general. I believe they're, like... Not first in the division, but they're like kind of well, they're competitive. It's all I really wanted the Red Sox to be, and I I don't expect them to win the World Series every year. But damn, give us something, give us Boston fans something. Although the Celtics are kind of carrying me right now because the Celtics are obviously in the finals and playing the Mavericks, so I'm excited for that. Starts next week, I believe Friday or maybe Thursday, Game One of the NBA Finals. We'll see how that goes whenever it happens. I know I could buy people. Probably some website that lets you do it, but you know that's got to be illegal. How's everybody doing? I know we got Lena Ram, we got Dark Sage, we got Randy. That's just the people so far. Oh, this course looks pretty cool. Where, where are we at now? Tri City. All right. I think this is another new one. We'll see how new it is, and more importantly, how good it is right after this. Go. 79% boost. That's pretty good. I'll get careless. Anyone but the. Oh, that's right. You don't like the Panthers for some reason. I mean, I don't like the Panthers either because they keep eliminating the Bruins, but. Well, I thought you liked baseball and uh, basketball. 
Utah Jazz and the uh, Kansas City Royals. I always remember that unique combination of teams. But there is no Kansas City or Utah hockey team that I know of. So that's got to be kind of difficult. Oh, this is awesome. Look at this fucking course. <clears throat> Jazz are done. My Royals... I don't know why you say the a fraud. I mean, it's still pretty... I feel like people said that about the Orioles last year, and the Orioles won, like, 100 games. I mean, technically, this is Fortnite, but it's, like, rocket racing. Like, it's, it's in the game, Fortnite. I'm not playing the main game, Fortnite. I'm not playing the, the shooting Roy Battle Royale game, obviously, but this is an extension of it. Like, how they have different modes. So, yes, technically, I have to put this on... I guess I don't have to, but I, I put this on my stream label as Fortnite, but it, to me, I'm just playing the racing. I have this entire, like, 70-gig game weighing down my Xbox so I can play Rocket Racing a few times a month. Like, it's, it's kind of crazy. I wish this mode was just on, um, like, Rocket League. Like, this should just be part of the Rocket League main game, but it's not. So this is how I have to play it, which is fine. But, again, just got a giant-ass game weighing me down. <laughs> Wasn't on the mediocre teams. Well, admittingly, you know, you get to play the White Sox a bunch of times, but... You gotta give your team more credit. Who cares who they played? Like, they, they gotta beat them. Like, it's like, people are giving me a hard time, or people are giving Celtics fans a hard time, because the Celtics didn't beat anybody on the way to the finals, you know? They played the Cavs without Mitchell, they played the Heat without Butler, they played the, the Pacers without uh, Halliburton, you know? Like, oh, so, you know, the, they, they beat a bunch of easy teams. Well, they gotta beat who they gotta beat. Like, the, the Royals didn't make their schedule, the, the Celtics didn't make their schedule. Like, Celtics won 64 games in the regular season. And they routinely beat good teams, so, you know, if they win this finals, which I think they shall, like, that's a legitimate championship. That's not, like, a fraud championship. Did I just get a third? Holy shit, I just got the third. I really did not see that coming. So, same thing with the Royals. I mean, yeah, okay, they might play some mediocre teams, but, I mean, so do the Red Sox, so do everybody. They still have to beat those teams. Like, they can't just show up and win those games. They gotta beat them. Same thing with the Celtics, you know? They could have lost to the Cavs. They could have lost to the Heat or the Pacers. I would have been pretty pissed if they lost to the Heat, not gonna lie. With the Heat without Jimmy Butler, but... <clears throat> Here we are looking at Celtics-Mavs finals. Uh, hopefully I'll have some coverage of that next week, depending on how things go. But right now, we are playing some Rocket League. Just got beaten by a very, uh... Very handsome-looking Peter Griffin uh, avatar there. That's not Peter Griffin as I remember him in Family Guy. He's been doing a little bench pressing or something. More, right now. Ooh, I like that cityscape. I think I was just there, but they, they render it so much better in the previews. It's like you want to be racing there. Hey, yo. Ooh, Python. I think I vaguely remember this course. I mean, I only play this game, like, maybe once a month or so, so. Even if I've seen the course, it's not like, oh, this one again. 40% boost! Yo! That boost really can be a game changer, and it just was right there. Whoa, okay, that was entertaining, I'm not gonna lie.
Also a little bit of space in the race there, a little bit of placement. Whoa, that was fun. Oh yeah, I used to be gripping like crazy in this game, let me tell you right now. Go. Whoa! Okay. Okay, I feel you. Oh, that was really rough. It was not how you're supposed to land there, but yet here we are. Whoa, 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 whoa. This is exactly what happened on the last track, or very similar anyway. Last lap. Watch out. I did not save myself a lot of boost there by doing that. If I had, hey baby. Watch out, watch out, watch out. What the screeching sound? I'm not even being sarcastic. I really do like the screeching sound of the cars as they take those some of those turns. It's like freaking Star Wars. It's not too unlike. You know, this game is going for sort of that feel. It's like speed pod racers from Star Wars. Ah, sixth, even after that, like, kind of, whatever you call it, like, evasive thing. Got to get back to work now. All right, well, have a good time at work. That's a cool avatar by the person who won first. That was a tough race. Oh, we're almost there. Looks like we will get there to gold two. Hey, yo, thanks for dropping in, though. Uh, tell Toaster I say hello if I don't see him on the stream later. All right, yeah, next race. Let's go to the next race. See how we follow that banger of a race up. That was a bit of a tough course, but a fun one. I will say it was a fun, fun little course there. It was a fun little course, wasn't it? More right now. Hey, yo. Ooh, this. All right. All right, here we go. Slap Happy. I do remember this course. I remember the name Slap Happy. I don't know how well I remember the actual course. But we'll find out right after this. A hundred percent boost. Say that almost never happens. Cool music yet again. Not that I should be surprised at this point. Hey, yo! Oh, boy. I, say, I did not leave myself enough room to clear that. I really did not. Alright, alright.
Whoa. Hey, yo. Last lap, let's go. What a last lap it might be. Okay. What just happened? I was gonna say, I don't know how I freaking did that, but. Place again. Well, not the results I wanted, but I raced hard, fought hard. Fetching results! 7%! Not a lot of percent. Yeah, no, cool avatar by the winner, you gotta give it to him. Not that I'm sure having a good avatar makes you better, but. Yeah. More racing right now. What racing it might end up being. We'll find out right after this. Finding match. Well, let's find it. Hey yo. Oh yeah. Ooh. I like the artwork, the, the renders they did for this game. Very nice. Very artistic, if you will. More right now. Ooh, what's this course all about? Looks like it goes like straight up. Conduit. All right, I definitely don't remember this one. Let's see if it's worth remembering right now. Sounds like an F-Zero vibe. With just a crazy amount of turns and everything. Whoa! Okay, I'm already lost here. Wow! Alright, this one's going hard. This course is definitely... Probably not going to do that well on this. This is my first time on this course, but... I'll try my best. I love this uh, motif they got going on here. Just going through the jungles and stuff. Almost wish this was a Rocket League arena. You know, not that it would change a whole lot about the game, but be down for it. Oh, right into the whatever that was. Damn, this course is ridiculous. I love it. I really do. Even though I'm getting my ass kicked on it. I think everybody is. I mean, this is not an easy course. But I would race it again. I might have to, depending on what course they randomly select for me. I love this part here, even though it's a little bit of a mind twist. Whoa! Okay, that is a crazy jump. I almost clipped myself on the freaking... This part here always... I mean, that... No, always. Only the second time I've seen it happen. But that part gets me a lot. In terms of confusion. But I'm kind of always perpetually confused. But... Okay, like almost everybody messes that one up. That is a tough turn. That is like a U turn, but like 
even worse. I don't know what's worse than a U-turn, but that is like a freaking J-turn or something. Like, it's so ridiculous. And I am, like, in ninth place with, like, no chance of advancement over here. Just trying to do my best to get back to the top of the pack, maybe. I don't know. Not looking great. This jump here, though, just completely messes with me. It's like a jump straight down diagonally. I mean, it's insane. Again, though, love it. Like, this has such a great, like, arcade feel to it. Like, you get, like, you know, pop a few tokens into an arcade machine, get one of these little throw rides out of it. Like, ah, that, that to me is just peak racing action right there. Oh, I made the turn. I made the forbidden turn. One that is very hard to make. I made it. Barely, but I did. How in the world did I finish in fourth place on that course? That was such a tough course. I'm, like, blown away, like, both by the course and the fact that I actually finished in the top four of that? That's crazy. It's crazy good, but it's still crazy, like, that was insane. That's because I made that last turn. That J turn that kept knocking everybody off, like, if you make it, it's the difference between, like, losing a couple places and actually, like, staying competitive. But even so, I mean, that was... That was probably the, I mean, probably, definitely the best course I've raced on today so far. I don't know what else they have to offer as far as new courses go. I mean, even the ones that are already in the game are pretty good. So, we'll see what we get coming up next. I noticed that they are rotating through these new courses a little more often, which is fine. I wish Mario Kart 8 did that, to be honest. Mario Kart 8 adds courses, or they did add courses, and, like, you never saw them in the rotation. It was always the same old ones. This game seems to focus more on the newer courses, which is fine, you know, but they still have some older courses. I don't know how many courses are in the game altogether. I also feel like I've just had the word courses like 20 times in 30 words. More courses right now, of course. Hey, oh. It's time for Rocket Racing. Hey, yo. Ooh. We're back in the traditional desert arena for Dust Up 2, the sequel to the popular Dust Up. Actually, that sounds like the name of it. It would be like a name of like a desert-themed fighting game. It'd be like Dust Up, only on the Super Nintendo. Oh yeah. Very hard. I'm trying to land on that speed booster there, but it like kind of shifts positions just ever so slightly every time.
God damn, it's hard to do. All right. Fifth place, alright. Not quite the result I wanted, but not terrible, I guess. Yeah, I was that was a tough track. I'm not, not gonna sugarcoat it. I still think that other track was tougher though, the conduit one, the one that went through like the jungle area, I thought that was a much tougher course, and I somehow finished fourth on that one. Hey, yo. Next match in 20 seconds. Right, I gotta kill 20 seconds. How about that? Oh, hold on. Down to 7 seconds now. Finding match. I hope you're finding a match. Better be a good one, too. We'll see how good it is right now. Right, I guess this is where the rest of the 22 seconds went. I'm like, this isn't 22 seconds. It is now. All right, here we go. Well, that's a nice view. I hope we get to race there at some point. Maybe we'll even get to race there now. At the Rocket Castle. Or the wrestle, if you will. Hey, yo. Loading. Still loading. Still loading. Alright, here we go. This looks like... Ah, oh, fuck, don't tell me. Ah, who told me? Jackrabbit. I was gonna say, I think this is the first race I raced on. About 40 minutes ago when the stream started. Alright, here we go. More, right now. 99% boost! What do I need to do to get that extra 1%? Like, it'll never tell me, but... I'm just curious for future reference so I know what to do. Is that the DeLorean? Silver car that just passed me. You never know, it's going way too fast. Whoa, yeah, that was weird. Last lap. Boosted. Didn't really boost my place in standings, but I did boost. Whoa. Six 
68 gigabyte update. Was it that much? I know I, I did have to update this when I booted it up again. I assume that's not for Rocket Racing because while well, they did add a couple courses, ah oh, damn it, fine place. What the fuck is that? What's up, X? Oh, that was weird. All right. I'm surprised I got anything for that race. More right now. A couple new courses I've seen today. That was not one of them. Although, well, it's newer, but it's not new. A couple new ones, though. Pretty good. Pretty, pretty good. How's the uh, 24 race going? 24 race. How's the 24 hour race going? Why well, use more words when less words do same? Nice. God, imagine racing for 24 hours. Like, how do they even, like, they gotta take a, well, they can't take a break. I guess they're just, they're just stuck in that car. Download 68 gigs. That's a lot of gigs. Outpost by Epic. 50 gigs? Yeah, that must be other stuff in Fortnite. That can't just be the racing. Can I just, like, choose to only download the racing part of the game? Like... Like, I hate that I had to download everything, because I'm like, I'm only going to use this part. Like, can I just not do, like, the rest of it? And I'll just deal with the fact that I can't access LEGO Fortnite or whatever. I, 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 I would gladly do that, because I'm on an Xbox Series S where I only have so much storage space. And between this game and Forza Horizon, that's pretty much all of it. Every other game I have on here is a very small, very small game. Like, if a third really big game came out, I would not be able to download it on the on the Xbox, anyway. Oh, it's free on Game Pass. Oh, I can't download it, because I took all my storage up on Fortnite to play the racing mode. And only the racing mode. Well, an hour, I mean, it shouldn't take an hour for you with your, your computer downloading powers. 68 gigs on your computer? It's at like five minutes? Yeah, maybe not. Yeah. I don't remember if it was 68 gigs, but it was a big update for me. I would assume it's the same on Xbox. Ooh, eight gigs. boost in this game, do you hold on to it, like, to save up more boost, or do you just burn it as soon as you get it? Because I generally just burn it as soon as I get it. I was like, I'm like, is that the best strategy, or should I just save up, like, three boosts and then just, like, maybe time them out? I don't know. It also depends on what place I'm in. If I'm, like, toward the top, I, maybe I save the boost so that I can get ahead of people if they get ahead of me again, but if I'm, like, down at the bottom, I'm, I'm definitely burning that shit. Of course, placement changes so often in this game. Sometimes I don't even look at the standings. I don't even have time. I'm just focusing on the game. Oh, jeez, I almost hit that wall. Not even a wall. What is that? A floating road? And the wall would be, like, something you run into. Actually, not going to burn it yet. All right, now, now I'll burn it. Fifth place! Not a great place. Oh. 
I'm so fancy. You already know. I was gonna say, and here's the funny thing. The stream video itself runs great. Everything else about this stream technically sucks, but nobody can see it. My time counter has been stuck on 36 minutes and 5 seconds since whenever that was in real time. So to me, the preview looks great. Everything around it is frozen. But whatever, I guess. I've had that happen multiple times, by the way, where the stream will run great, but, like, everything around it is trash. Or the opposite, where everything's running great, but then the, the screen, which is the most important part, is all glitchy. So, yeah, no, it, it has been fine. And you'll be uh, surprised to know the number of settings that I've changed since the last time is zero. Yes. Maybe it just likes warmer weather better, I don't know. Although, it was pretty warm yesterday, or the day before. So, 75 already? God damn, it's gonna be a hot day. More right now. Oh, this course is pretty good. Oh, my time counter just caught up to 47 minutes. Today. I'm never daring enough to go off the course and hit those little, like, ramp boosts, whatever they are. Whoa. Whoa, 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 I don't like any of that. Oh. Oh. in that race. That was place. Ooh. Twenty five percent updated. Yeah, we'll find out. Maybe. I don't know. I could probably stream like another I don't know, forty minutes, hour. Uh, 
Oh, 40 minutes from now, my clock counter will still say 47 minutes. But automatically updating, yeah. I don't, I mean, I assume that's supposed to uh, automatically update, but sometimes mine also will, like, you know, I open it again and it doesn't update. It doesn't, I don't think it tells me the size of the update, though. I think it just says updating and then it says, like, a percentage and then it just updates it. I guess if I did, like, view details, it would tell me the exact size of the update. And this is why I have no storage on my Xbox. Oh, this course, I feel like I've raced this course like four times already. Bigger SSD, oh, for the Xbox? I don't really use the Xbox enough to do that. Like, it was worth it for the PS5, because I do have a lot of games on there, both from PS4 and PS5, but... I, mean, I only play maybe like 10 games on this, like even semi-regularly, and a lot of them are smaller games, so... I mean, worst case, if I had to delete this or delete, like, Forza for a little bit while I played something else, I would do that. I'm not really... Like... I mean, I like this system, but... They're selling their own cards. Oh, wait, are they? Hey, yo. Missed! Oh man, I thought I hit that timing. I was so upset that Xbox is selling their own cards, I couldn't focus. PlayStation memory card. Really? Ah, oh, memory cards are making a comeback. That's old school. Let's say there's like really nothing. I mean, I'm sure you can modify an Xbox Series S, but like, I don't see anything you can really plug into this, like a. On PlayStation, well, PlayStation internal one. It's a little annoying to put in, but. I guess there would be something similar on the Xbox. Just open it in the back or something. I mean, you don't, you don't get much more of a boring design than the Xbox Series S. I mean, even the Xbox 360 had a little more going on design wise. Because I'm a big design guy. I love, like, consoles that look, like, kind of cool. Like, I'll give PlayStation props for that. That's a cool-looking console. It's probably bulkier than it needs to be, but it's a pretty cool-looking fucking console. That's what I mean. They're, they're just, like, they're literally boxes. I mean, they're not, you know, they're not lying to you. It's, it is the Xbox. It's even, you know, an ambiguous name like X, and it's a box. It is literally, they have achieved the goal. You know, it took them a little bit, but now it looks just like a box. Actually, I guess the original Xbox was, um... I was gonna say, the original Xbox was more of the goal. The original Xbox was a box that had sort of like an X shape on the top of it. So I guess the first Xbox was actually the true Xbox. And this is just a box. Like, they just call it box. That sounds like a very, like, modern, like, almost Apple thing to do. You just call your product box. Not Xbox, not any other thing, just box. In terms of the recent ones, yeah. I always like the name Xbox 360 because, like, how can it be a box but also be 360? Because that's like a circle. So I thought that was kind of a cool name. But yeah, Xbox One was a little confusing because... It wasn't the first one. And Xbox Series S and X, I actually thought were, like, just upgrades on the first one. Yeah, like, they really... Oh, yeah, there was the Xbox One X, which I guess was just an Xbox One, but upgraded. I don't really know. I still don't know, and I own this damn thing. I still don't even know. I honestly thought this was, like, an older console than it is. I thought this was, like, the PS4 equivalent of Xbox. I always thought they should go... Xbox 360, Xbox 720, although then you start to get into some weird numbers after that, but... At least I would know that's a newer one, like how they did the Atari 2600, the Atari 5200, the Atari 7800. But again, now we're just doing numbers, which gets kind of boring. Eh, I don't know if Xbox 2 and 3, I don't know if that has the same sound to it. Plus, like, Sony already did that, so I feel like people would just say they're copying Sony. Like, Sony's the only company, for whatever reason, that can get away with just slapping the next number on their console. 
Like, Sega and Nintendo always named their consoles something different. Although I kind of like that Nintendo, at least for a while, just stuck to, like, Nintendo, Super Nintendo, Nintendo 64, and then they got away from that. Well, yeah, movies, yeah, that's different. Then Nintendo GameCube, then after that they just completely named them whatever they wanted. Although I, I still want Super Nintendo Switch. I am holding out hope for Super Nintendo Switch. I, that really should be the name. Probably won't be, but it should be. If they call it, if they call it Switch 2, I'm gonna be really good. That's just a dumb name. I'm sorry. That's a dumb fucking name. The only other name I had for it was Switch Up. Like, you know, Switch Up, like, then it's kind of like Wii U, or it's like Wii U, Switch Up. I don't know. I don't know that they would do that either. For whatever reason, I think they're gonna name it Switch 2. I really do. I don't know why. I don't want that. Nintendo's never done a 2. Their consoles always have a different name. Or a different added thing to it. Nintendo, so I mean, I guess if they do that, I would probably be behind it just because how funny it would sound. But now, to me, Super Nintendo Switch is so obvious they won't do it. Which to me, is a great way to honor their legacy and also be like the upgrade. Of course, then after that, I don't know where they'd go. Switch 64? I don't know. Yeah, like 2048 probably is it. I mean, they've really ridden the Switch longer than they should have, considering it was out of date when it came out in 20. What, 2017? 2018? Like, it was never on the cutting edge. It was already behind PS4 when it came out. Now it's just behind PS5 and everything else. PlayStation name, even if you like... That's true. Like, I mean, I, I mean, like, one console could do it, and Sony decided to be the one to do it. What's really funny is there actually is such a thing as a Sega Genesis Model 2 and Model 3, but they're the same console. So I guess technically Sega did have a Sega Genesis 3, but the Sega Genesis 3 was just the Sega Genesis. It was just like a smaller design. It was like a PlayStation Slim, basically. But no, I mean, generally... Like, nobody, nobody even remembers the Sega Genesis 3. Most people had a Sega 2, but nobody called it a Sega 2. It was just the Genesis. Genesis Model 1 was only like a year or so. Which actually makes it rare. I have a Sega Model 2. But again, nobody calls it that. Yeah, exactly. It was just called the Sega Genesis. It was the biggest one. They, they got smaller as they went. The Sega Genesis Model 2 was smaller. The Sega Genesis Model 3 was actually, like, very small. But the the Model 3 came out, like, 97 or whatever. Like, nobody even had a Genesis by then anymore. And they only called it Model 1 after Model 2 came out. Oh, that's true. It wasn't, it wasn't Genesis there. It was Mega Drive. And I don't know if they called it Mega Drive Model 2 or not. In fact, it's not even something Sega really publicized. I only know that because it says it on the bottom of my Sega Genesis. It says Sega Genesis Model 2. And then, obviously, people online put that information out. But at the time, they didn't call it the Sega Genesis Model 2. I like the look of the Sega Genesis Model 1. But, I mean, I'm fine with the 2. The 3 looks like a fucking toy. The Genesis 3 looks like a fucking joke. I mean, they all do the same thing. I thought the Me Mega Drive is a better name, actually. The Mega Drive, and also the the box art you guys had was better, because you had the, the blue edges on it, and I thought that was much better. 50%? That's halfway. Hey, my uh, time counter caught up to 59 minutes.
I know by looking at my stream on my phone, which is why I keep looking down, that I'm actually at an hour and one minute. And 40-something seconds. I'm just doing that so I know. Whoa, we're halfway there. Oh, damn it, this is course again. Whoa, I don't have any catchy words for that. That irrelevant. Go. I'm assuming that as I'm playing this in real time, this game runs at 60 frames per second, if I had to guess. Because I, I honestly can't tell the difference. I'm only asking that because I'm guessing Mario Kart 8 does not run at 60 frames per second. I'm guessing it runs at 30 frames per second because Nintendo can't do 60 frames per second. I only say that because I cannot tell the difference in speed other than the fact that this game just goes faster between 30 frames per second and 60 frames per second. Or maybe, I don't know, maybe fucking Mario Kart 8 does go at 60 frames per second. I have no idea. I'm just guessing this does, because it runs on an Xbox. Oh, what the fuck? Is it a rock? Well, I think some games... Can, I could be wrong on that. I think some games can run at 60 frames per second on Switch, but they have to, like, downgrade them. Okay, I was gonna say, I think there are some games on Switch that do 60. I know, like, Sonic Frontiers does 30 on Switch, and I actually do notice the difference. It's very subtle, but I do notice it. And there are some other games that they downgraded to make them run 60, and then I can kind of obviously see the downgrade. So we, it literally is. That's not even a joke. It came out in fucking 2013. Yeah, say what you will about the Wii U, and it's not a powerhouse, but I think the Wii U was at least more on par with what was around at the time than the Switches. Like, it was still behind, but it wasn't as behind, if that makes sense. It was like, for 2000, I think it came out in 2012. 2012, it was like maybe a little bit behind, like, the PS3 or whatever else was out at that point. But, like, you know, the Switch is so comically behind. At least on Wii U and called the Deluxe. Yeah, no kidding. Like, half of the freaking Switch's game library. For a while, anyway. Then, to their credit, they came up with their own Switch games. But for a long time, it was like... What? Donkey Kong Tropical Freeze Deluxe. Switch Deluxe. What the fuck? Switch Deluxe. Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. They re-released both Bayonetta games. Then they made a third Bayonetta game only on Switch, and somehow it looks worse than the first two, despite coming out, like, seven years after. Which I, I'm guessing is because... Well, no. No, Bayonetta 2 was a Wii U exclusive, so Bayonetta 2 was designed for the Wii U, so the graphics should have been... I, I don't know. Because Bayonetta 1 came out on Xbox 360 and PS3, so it probably had better graphics for its time. Bayonetta 2 actually is a pretty good-looking game, though. Bayonetta 3 just looks like shit. Like, it plays fine, but it just... Compared to the first two, it does not look that good. Despite coming out in 2022. Yeah, it really is. <laughs> and I won't even say I love Nintendo. I begrudgingly respect Nintendo. I do not love Nintendo, but I will give them credit sometimes. And he'll give me version. I, I honestly, I'm kind of in the same boat at this point. Like, I thought that's why I thought the Wii U was a decent compromise, and even then, I only used it in handheld sometimes. But the whole gimmick that it like has to be a portable thing so that you can. I mean, I guess I can't speak for everybody. And to be fair, when I went on a plane ride, I did play it on the plane, so it is kind of nice to have a full console on a plane. But for the most part, like, how many people are playing a console game like? during the day, you know, I mean, I guess some people, if they have the time, like, oh, I'm, like, on the bus, let me play my console, like, oh, I'm at the park, let me play my console, it's like, no, if I'm at home, 
I'm going to play my console. Like, why am I going to play it? Like, it's kind of a weird message to send when you think about it. It's like, oh, you don't have to be at home to play your console anymore. You can be at work and play it. It's like, well, doesn't that kind of kill the point? I mean, that's what the 3DS was for. I like the 3DS. Nintendo, we support, you know, education and kids and all that. Also, bring your Switch to school and play it everywhere. Now you can have your little arguments about what Nintendo game is better and actually settle them because you can just pull out the thing during school. Yeah, well, when we get home, I'll show you my Super Nintendo. Oh, wait, we don't have to get home. I got the Switch right here. That was always a thing when I was a kid, like, somebody had, like, the next console and I didn't have it yet, like... I had a Sega Genesis for a long time, like, people would have, like, a PS1 or a freaking like, N64, that- that was a trip! You know, even though I'm, I was always a Sega fan, it was like, whoa, look at this thing, look at Crash Bandicoot, like... There'd always be that kid, you know, that had the newest thing, you didn't have it, you still had, like, the NES or something... And it's like, oh, come over and see the Super Nintendo, it's like, whoa! You know, for, like... That hour or whatever, you'd be like in like just complete whatever. I remember I went over to my granddad's once and like one of his like well one of his wife's kids, he didn't have any other kids besides my mom, but one of his wife's kids came over with a specifically to bring the N64. And he's like, This console because my granddad always like exaggerated everything. He's like, This console is so amazing. Like like Bobby, you like video games? Wait until you see this. Like, this is so amazing. So like I was so excited. Not to see his kids, but to see this this N64, Nintendo 64. And I think he, they had, like, Ocarina of Time or something. I'm like, whoa! Like, and again, I'm not even a Zelda fan, but I'm like, oh, wow, look how cool this looks. And I miss those days. Now it's like, oh, they made a new one, all right. The, the joy is just gone. I'm like, oh, okay, yeah, it looks realistic. But, I mean, it really was a thrill back then. And now it's just like, uh, yeah, uh, uh, it doesn't even run at 8K, okay. I have, like, no interest in, like, I have interest in the current consoles, but it's, I'm not, like, as excited for the new ones as I used to be. Like, oh, man, when is the Switch 2 coming out or whatever? It's like, it'll come out when it comes out. It'll probably have its advantages and disadvantages. I'm not gonna go over my granddad's and wait for their kids to bring over the new console. Yeah, you get my point. Oh, yeah, the original 64, the Commodore 64. Yeah, actually, Nintendo ripped them off. Parents sold it one day. Really? They, oh, that sucks. I feel like a Commodore 64 would be worth a lot of money now. Might have been worth a lot of money then. Was it? Oh, that's pretty cool. Was it the Super Nintendo or the Super Famicom? Or maybe that's only in Japan, it's the Super Famicom. I do enjoy it. Well, I mean... I could say I enjoy the Super Nintendo now. I didn't enjoy it then. The Super Nintendo was always the enemy for me. But, looking back on it, I can say the Super Nintendo was a pretty cool console. If I have to. Jumps anymore, huge jumps. The hardware gets expensive. Yeah, no, I know. Well, yeah, also, we, we've all kind of gotten over the jumping graphics now. Like, arcades used to be miles above consoles. And so, like, you'd go to an arcade and you'd see these games, you know, running on huge machines, obviously, that were way above anything you could play. Like, you know, the, the virtual flight simulators or, you know, like the... the water racing games. Like, you'd play those and be like, how come, like, my console at home can't play that? It's because, you know, your console at home is not as powerful as an arcade machine, and then, obviously, consoles caught up to arcades. But for a while there, it was like, you went to an arcade, it was like, wow. Now you go to an arcade, and it's like, the game looks like it's, like, made in 2002 or something, which it probably was. And it's still this giant machine. Puddle Jumper 2 loses money. I think, like... I don't know if it's true, but I think almost every company loses money on their hardware. They make it up on software. Or maybe they don't lose money, but they don't make a lot of money. Like, they spend a lot on the designing of the machine. 
and all that, and they don't make a profit until they sell, like, you know, their software, which is why, you know, first-party exclusives are so important. They want to sell more copies of God of War Ragnarok than they do, well, they can't sell more copies of the game than the console, but they want to sell a lot of games. And I'll, I know I'll be supporting them. Oops. What the fuck? What the fuck just happened here? Alright, that was stupid. What the fuck was I talking about? I know I'll be supporting them when, uh, Astrobot comes out. I just, there's something about me that loves the simplicity of Astrobot. Like, Astrobot to me is just a, it's a, what's the name? A mascot platformer. Like, yeah, there's plenty of platformers, but like, it's just like, it's a character, like Crash Bandicoot, like Sonic, like Mario. It's just, it's a simple character with a simple design with like no story. At least I hope there's not a story. I don't want a story in this fucking thing. I just want to jump in the freaking game and play the levels. Like, there's something about that that I need in 2024. I, I just, I need it. You know, I'm, I'm watching the, the, the state of play, the, the you know, 30 minute presentation on this game about, you know, the, the post-apocalyptic world and this and that, and it takes them 20 minutes to get to the actual gameplay, and it's the same gameplay I've seen for 20 other games. And then I see Astrobot, and in like 30 seconds I'm sold. Yeah, I love that they had Parappa the Rapper and freaking Kratos and For a long time, I always thought of Sony as, like, kind of the more corporate of the gaming companies. Like, eh, you know, they're just doing it to make a buck or whatever. But, like, stuff like that kind of makes me eh, respect them more. I don't know. It's almost like a Nintendo move. Because Sony has been in the business for, like, almost 30 years now. It was, PS1 was, like, 95 or whatever. So they, they have been in the business long enough now where they can say, hey, we got a long history of games, too. And they, they take care of that. I feel like Xbox doesn't really do that, even though they, they've been around like 20 years. Xbox came out in 2000 or whatever. But what's Xbox's legacy? Halo? Forza? I mean, they, they've got their titles. I'm not saying they don't. But you don't really get the warm and fuzzies thinking about Halo. Like, I don't. Maybe some people do. I mean, I'm sure there are some people who grew up with Halo, the original few games. I know it's got a big fan base, but it just, it's just kind of nostalgic to me. And I, I mean, I was young when the first Halo came out. But if I see Master Chief, I'm not like, oh man, Master Chief, there we go. There's one of the icons of gaming. I guess he is. I, I just don't... I guess I'm just biased. I, I just don't get the warm and fuzzy. I want to get the warm and fuzzies. You know, I know it's just a game. I know it's just hardware and whatever, but I want to get the warm and fuzzies. Yeah, that's what I mean. Like, the, the games were fun when they came out. I remember people played them. Same with Gears of War, actually, which... I mean, I don't know, I've only played a little Gears of War, but, like, the games came out, they were fun, people played them. I, I don't know what I'm saying. I just, I'm excited for Astrobot. I'm actually more excited for Astrobot than the Sonic Generations remake, because I've already played Sonic Generations for, like, 13 years. Now, granted, they're gonna add that new Shadow chapter, but I'm not even that excited about that. I like Shadow, but let's just say the last Shadow solo game was not great. Ooh, racing. More racing, potentially, after this. Oh, are they finally making a new Fable? I feel like the last one was like 10 years ago. We'll find out right after this. Wow, my stream counter has fallen 16 minutes behind the counter on my phone, which I assume is real time. Oh, this course is pretty cool. I do feel bad, because I feel like by the time your game updates, I'm only going to be playing, like, another 20 minutes or whatever. But as much as I like this game, I feel like I've played the same 10 courses for the majority of this time. And it's not really anybody's fault, because this game just kind of randomizes the courses. I know there's more than 10 courses, but I keep getting the same ones. It's not like I'm picking these. Nobody's picking them. The game's like, hey, you want to race Python again? I'm like, I don't want to race Python again. Yes, you do. I don't race Python.
Jeez, what the frick happened there? I don't know, but it was kind of cool. Now what's really funny is that last stream that was like glitching so much, you asked me if there were any drop frames and I was like, no. And then like after I closed out the stream, it said 16 drop frames. And I'm like, only 16? I'm like, first of all, why now? And then only 16? I say 16,000 maybe. Because the frame is a very small unit. I just, I've never seen that before. It's usually either zero drop frames or a lot. And 16? Is that like a second? Well, no, 30 frames per second. That's less than a second. So that whole stream, you're telling me only half a second clipped. Yeah, I'm not great at technical stuff, but I'm pretty sure it was more than that. Yeah, I was going to say, at 16, I wouldn't even count. I probably had 16 in this stream already, and I don't even know it. No, it, it used to keep pretty good count, actually. I think my record in a stream was like 24,000 drop frames. I remember I used to see the number on the bottom. Player join party? Beck is on. Bex, I don't want to alarm you, but I think somebody hacked your account and is now playing this game. Might want to look into that. Get some uh, two-factor authentication. Exactly. Also, I think that same person also sends messages to my PS4 or PS5 saying things like, this isn't the new Halo God of War. What the fuck? Oh, God damn it. Why does that keep happening? I think that happened once. It's happened like four times since I started playing. Right, well, I warmed them up for you. Seventh place. Let's see, do I have to return to lobby? I think I have to return to lobby for you to join. We'll find out. Either way, I'm going to return to lobby. Unless you already joined, in which case we'll never ever know. Ooh, message from Begazon. This isn't the new Egg McMuffin. It really is not. Ooh. Yeah, why not? I'll clip that. Ooh, it's Bekazon slash the uh, freaking Padme? Somebody from Star Wars. More right now. That is Padme. And Claptrap. Isn't Claptrap from like Borderlands? Let's say those two aren't from the same franchise. Although, for some reason, like, that looks like that would be in Star Wars. Like, because they love their droids. It looks like she would have, like, a little, like, droid following around or something. Well, besides R2-D2. Oh, yeah. Any day now, this game's gonna load up good. Went from the 24-hour race to the 24-minute race. I already forgot. It happens to me, too. Uh, X is Drift. That's all I can really tell you, or whatever it is on your controller, but I assume you have an Xbox One controller. So, the only thing that took me a second is that X is Drift, not Break. 
X and then the direction, obviously. Uh, uh, R is go. Xbox Elite 2 controller. Yeah, but the button layout's still similar, I assume. Tri-City! This was a new course the first time I played it. This is my third time playing it. If we ever get the conduit again, that was a fun course. That was a fun course. That's a hard course, though. Oh, yeah, hold A to, to fly, I guess. Don't really use it too much, but you can. And then, same thing, X to jump on the walls. I'll say the controls actually are pretty, like, straightforward, but there's still, like, a lot going on. Which is, uh, to me, that's a great arcade racing game. It's, uh, there's not, like, a million controls, but you do still need to, like, know them. Ooh, my stream clock count up, caught up to within five minutes now. It's at 1.17, 1 hour 17 in real time. Even though it's not, I've actually been streaming for an hour and 22. But who's counting? Oh wait, I am. It's like Rainbow Road off the top of that. by fast, doesn't it? 740... What is kilometers per hour? I never actually looked at the unit. I'm like, is that miles per hour or kilometers? Not that it's all fake anyway, but like, pretty fast. I can do. I'm like, my boost was just out at that point. Like, I, I knew the ending was coming, and I'm just like, I don't have any boost. No, not bad at all. Damn, second place. Especially if you're on level gold 2 or whatever. That's pretty good. My current rank is level gold 2. Hell. Silver too. Oh, that's still pretty good. Silver three. Oh, that's still pretty good. Let's see if we get the conduit. I've not gotten the conduit more than once. That was actually a really fun new course, although it's pretty tricky. It's tricky, tricky, tricky. Here we go. Ah, uh, uh, this is like... This is like... Fucking Jackrabbit. Yep. I knew I already knew the name of the course. This is Jackrabbit. I've seen this course. It was the first one I raced on today. 
this has got to be at least the fifth time I've done this one. Oh, I mean, it's brand new. I have no idea what's going to happen. St I still lose on it, don't get me wrong. I've not memorized it, but I do play it a lot. Or tricky right now. Yeah, see, you've been watching the streams. Ooh. I got a thousand XP for whatever that was, and then somebody named Bekazon just passed me. Oh, some weird names on this game. Chick Hicks 710. I'm going to start reading the names of the people that I see. In like the split second I see them. Beck is on. Why does that name sound so familiar? Walrum Klinkta Naman Sobakant. I don't know. I took too long to think about it. If I take too long to think about a German word, I end up really messing it up compared to if I just go for it. I might still mess it up, but I might be closer. If I sit there and think about it, it's like, uh, what is der Hund? It just doesn't sound like I know it, even if I do. Uh, what's that guy's name? God Wooly. I think. Again, not really. God Wolfie? God, you know what? Whatever. I'm passing it. God Wolfie again. Something called Super Bud? What the hell is that? Don't tell me it's that movie about the dog. I think that's Air Bud. Ah! Damn! I actually had, like, two boosts saved up. I had that last, like, stretch, like, prepared so well. Specifically to overtake Chick Hicks and Bekazon. Because I guess I did memorize this course just from playing it so many stinking times. But I, I saw Bex. I saw a little jumping on the mountains there. That was pretty slick. Doesn't remember how to play the game, she says. More, right now. But yeah, that that course that course is fun the first seven times you play it. I remember that. Yeah, you remembered how to win. I just want to play the conduit again, because that was a really fun course. Although it had this one really tricky turn that everybody kept missing, including me. And when you miss it, you get like respawned. Because you, you just you just drive off the course if you miss it, basically. Nope. Although this course is pretty fun. This is Python. Yeah, I've memorized the names now. Because that's how many times I've played them. But this one's cool. It's got like an Indiana Jones type of vibe to it. If Indiana Jones drove a rocket car. Which I think he does in the new one. No, I'm just kidding. I never Whoa! Holy shit! 
that was actually legitimately awesome. I don't know how to describe that. It was like a turn, but like a speed bump. Like, it really didn't make a goddamn lick of sense. It really didn't make any sense as how I landed that as well as I did. Go oh, me. Oh, damn it. Bekazan's off to her usual tricks. Well, we will put a stop to that. Now yeah, we probably won't. This part here, if you don't conserve your boost, you can fall in the water. Which, yeah, that's a retry. That's a womp womp. Try again. Oh, shoot! Oh god, I almost fell off. It's all right. I lost some ground, but that's okay. It was better than falling off the bridge. Where did those other people come from? I was like fighting one, two with Bex, and I'm like fighting with three other people. You need other people play this game? What the hell? It's just malarkey. Misfits Club. That's not a bad name. I knew she already won. Damn! Once it said only 30 seconds left, I knew somebody already won, and it wasn't me, so... Damn! I purposely had, like, two or three boosts saved up, too. Bex just casually dropping in, dominating the races. Funny, because I've taken my game up a level now, because I was finishing, like, 7th and 8th before you showed up. Uh, yeah, oh yeah, I like that track. I don't mind racing that one. I think, I think it was my fourth time today. The best one's still the Conduit, which we may or may not ever see again. Tri-City's okay. There's another one that I only raced once where, well, we'll see if it comes up. Gold 1? I want to see what happens after Gold 3. Does it go to, like, Platinum or Diamond, or is that just it? Or is there a gold four? We'll find out. Eventually. Well, I probably, depending on how long I race, probably won't see the next level yet. Okay, oh, that'll be awesome. And copyright infringement. Ooh, racing. Ooh, this place. Oh, uh, is this Seaside Farms? I'm gonna guess Seaside Farms. 
If it ever loads. That's what I'll guess. If it ever loads. Which it might not. I don't know. That's just me playing with the camera. Seaside Farms. Yep, called it. Not a bad course. I've only raced this one like three times. Okay, yep, not worth it. Not worth it. Get like a little shortcut if you do that, but not worth the risk I almost took there. just like clanking off the walls right now like it looks like I'm doing these really cool drifts but I'm basically just missing the turns but because the game's going so fast it doesn't matter just clank off the wall and keep going yeah so there's a lot of clanking what do you call that strategy uh, I call that clanking is that a technical term no that's just what I'm doing clanking god damn what that like KO'd by a rock not the rock, just a rock. Completely took me out. Rock completely killed my momentum. Like I was like in like third or fourth place most of the time. Now I'm like gonna be lucky if I finish seventh. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, somehow that helped a little bit, but that rock. I almost hit the rock again. I almost. I don't even know how you hit that thing, and I almost hit it twice. Sixth. All right. Like I said, be lucky if I got seventh. I got six. So I guess I'm lucky. Yeah, that was. That's a tough course. Some of them are tough. That one flips around a lot. I only know it because I've played it four times. I don't know. I played it enough times that I know what it's called. Like if I know what they're called, that means I played them a lot because they have very generic names. Like, loop-de-loop, -loop, or, hey, look at this, or, it's a car, which is a really weird name for a racing course, admittingly. For a long jump, I, yeah, I hit a rock. What the heck? Remember the first time you started playing? Help out a new player, why, why is there little whip? What? That's disturbing. Why is there, like, a Pixar-looking ice cream cone looking at me? Okay, I, I, I can't look at that, that's very creepy. Yeah, I hit a rock. I had a literal little bump in the road, and I just blew up. I didn't blow up. I turned into little pixels, and then while that happened, I lost like eight spots. Oh, what? Actually, I don't know if I've seen this one. No, I haven't. Uh, this is new. Or maybe it, I just don't remember. Olympus? I don't remember this. Well, he probably does. Probably with that same look on his face.
This might be new. Feels new. Smells new. Tastes new. Why is Gamora? Oh, you know what? I have I raced this like once, but not today. So th this is new today. I only remember because those weird panels with the arrows on them. I have seen those before. So this is relatively new. I mean, I'll take it because I was getting tired of freaking Jackrabbit and like Seaside Farms. It sounds like a type of milk. Seaside Farms. Only the best. Oh boy. It's like, I don't know where I was going with that. I'm like, oh boy, I'm going right in the water. I thought I take some shortcut or something. It's like, nope, you just, you just fall right in the water and you die. And, and then you dead. There's really nowhere here to drift. Like, this is just a long straightaway. Now there's a bit. And then he hit these things. It reminded me of Crash 4. Crash 4 had a lot of these walls. Oh, damn, I'm sucking some serious wind here. Yeah, this is a tougher one. I don't know how they came up with the name Olympus for this, but it is pretty ridiculous. Okay. Oh my god, I cleared the checkpoint. I don't even know what the heck I just did. It wasn't pretty. What the heck? God damn it. That's not what I wanted to do. I want it to win. Or at least be better. Don't just try better or whatever the saying is. Like, be better. Or do better? I don't know. Shit. I'm alive. I'm alive. Oh, shit. No, I'm not alive. What the fuck was that? This part here, I keep, like, falling off. Hey, that time, though. Ah. Oh. Fifth play, I really thought I finished, like, sixth or seventh, but we'll see right now. No, it's fifth. Wow, that sucked. Huh? Deja vu. Oh, that sucked. Oh, this sucks. It was all right. I just liked it because it was something new. Newer, anyway. Noya. Noya as the Ender and Cursor. 20 seconds? That's a long time to wait in the game. Almost as long as my stream counter, which still says an hour and 17 minutes and 50 seconds. So, like 30 minutes behind. Ayo. Alright, come on. Give me the conduit. I don't know why I'm asking for it, because it's actually a really hard course, but... It was fun. It challenged me on a fundamental level. How's that 24-hour race going? Anybody winning? I assume somebody's winning. Twenty hours. Oh, God, it's such a long time. Uh, I don't remember the name of this course. Slap happy. I was gonna say I've raced this one before. 
one's all right. More right now. in the future. Amazing. Got him! I actually didn't realize the end was that close. Oops. I think that's the first one I won today. Or that the best I did was second. After that, an hour 40 something. Of, hey, my stream counter kind of worked a little bit. God damn it. Yeah, right? Aren't those rocks terrible? Just a rock. How does that do that much damage. Sometimes you hit a rock and you kind of just go off course a little bit. Well, thank you. I, I did what I could. I also didn't realize how short that course was. I was like, I could swear there was another lap coming up. I, I guess we already did it. Alright. I'll probably do a couple more here. Should we get going here on this Saturday afternoon? It's like my, my first and only day off in a while after this. I worked like another six days or maybe more. We'll see. Oh, hello. Racing. I do enjoy racing. Especially when it's rocket powered. More right now. Do, 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 do. Python again? Let's see, now you know. You've already raced this course. Now imagine playing the game for like an hour and a half, and how many times you see this course. Two. One. Go.
Ha. Not all. Spider-Man team car then. Fuck. Yep. I, I took a shot there. I had a feeling I used my boost too early. I, I caught in. I was like banking on the fact that you maybe didn't have a boost, but you did. Because I basically just went for broke there at the end. I usually don't do that, but I'm like, if I don't do that, and she has a boost, she's going to win anyway, so... Yeah, that, that, that was well played. Ooh, my stream clock has caught up to 147. Best track. It, it is. It is one of them. I still think the conduit is better, which we may or may not ever see. But, yeah, I like Python. Hey, yo. There's also another city one that's pretty cool that I've only seen once or twice. Ooh, this place. <laughs> the screenshot you get, like, in between races does not end up being where you race usually. But we'll see. Right now. Seaside Farms. Oh, there you go. It really is Seaside Farms. This one's alright. All I know is that frickin' ice cream thing scared the hell out of me. That was not... I know it's supposed to be like a cute little, like, pun or whatever. Like, that was just not a very reassuring little mascot cartoon character. Urban-looking ice cream man.
Come on! Damn it! Ah! Oh. Damn, I saved two fucking boosts on that! Of course you did. I was gonna say, like, I was, like, ready for you to do the thing again, and you still did the thing again. Ah, oh, well played. That was intense. Well, I'm not sure how we're gonna beat that one, but I'll do one more. Then I gotta get ready for a uh, belated birthday dinner, lunch, dinner, brunch. I don't. Know. <coughs> Holy shit! Finding match. Yeah, it was a good race. mind racing in this place. There are a couple tracks that look like that. Sort of. Ah. What was that? I, I, it's all I gotta say. It's a slap happy. I didn't even see you pass me. I knew I didn't finish first. I knew somebody passed me. I didn't know who it was. Alright, well played then. Yeah, I like that course too, but... Uh, for now I'm gonna... I jumped over a building? Ah, oh, damn it. Yeah, that'll do it. I gotta hope that the end stream button works, because, like I said, my stream labs is technically sort of frozen, even though the stream itself isn't. It's weird. But, uh, anyway. I don't even notice the difference. Oh, it's like a different color. I mean, I'll claim them, but... No, I've actually had this happen before. It takes, like, five minutes, but if I just close, like, hard crash the program, it takes, like, Twitch five minutes to just end the stream itself, but yet... I was worried once that it was just going to keep going if I didn't actually hit the button. I can still hit the button, I just don't know if it's going to do anything. But anyway. 
I right, appreciate everybody watching slash joining today's racing action. Uh, hopefully you enjoy the rest of your day slash 24-hour race. And, uh, of course, we'll probably see you in the next one, which may or may not be another racing game. But uh, until then, I don't know if this is going to be goodbye because the button might not work. Uh, stay chaotic. Blur out. Yeah, it's not working. <laughs> I knew that wasn't going to happen. When it does, when that button hits... Yeah, button didn't hit. I feel like Thanos when he snaps his fingers and it doesn't work. Yo, I'm back. Hey, what up, Rem? You're here just in time for the, like, literal end of the stream. Uh, what's the question? I probably have time to answer it. I do enjoy how question was all in caps. Literally hit the button already. No, you, you can ask it now. I mean, I'm not... I mean, I am going somewhere, but I don't know when. <laughs> At this point. You really are going to DM in caps. It's going to be a good question. Oh, Frisbee throwing today. Uh, I could do that after a couple things I gotta do. We'll see. Right after this. See, look at that. You were able to ask it. Oh, yeah, I'm completely frozen in here. Yeah, I'll still take this over the frickin' uh, thing glitching every second. More after this. It's literally just not going to let me end this thing. Oh, you'll know. I mean, I'm, I'm telling you right now, but... Alt and F4, is that the escape button? Yeah. Probably something with this stuff. Minute to throw a frisbee. I do enjoy having a minute throw a frisbee. Alton F4 just controls the brightness of my screen. There you go. This is not usual PCs we're dealing with here. That's probably what I'll end up doing. Alright, hold on. I really was. And still am. And will never finish it. <laughs> because it won't let me. Crap forever. Waiting for task manager to load. This has been a fun day. I don't know what ended on my phone, do I? No, I really don't. Oh. I may be able to. Oh, we're going. It's the most dramatic end of the stream yet. I do enjoy yay. <laughs> it kind of does. It kind of does. Whoa. 
That's weird. Thought I ended it. Oh, now I did. Well, yeah, the webcam is going to work. I'm just saying there's no... I'm looking at my desktop right now. I, the program's out. The, the, the Elgato shouldn't be on either. Nothing should be on. I really am not going to be doing that. I could just turn off the computer. Hey, yo! Yeah, that was an unfortunate typo. What if the Stream Deck still works? I'm going to start unplugging stuff. Because I'm, I'm done. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. I'm looking at my desktop. I'm not looking at... The only reason I'm able to read this chat is on my phone. Well, why, Rem? You just want to sit here and watch me in my room doing nothing? I'm going to unplug the stream deck. I don't think that's going to affect anything. That'll probably be my, like, my last resort will be to turn off the laptop. But usually the stream stops itself after a certain amount of time without the program running. It's like one of those horror movies where they, like, unplug the thing, and they kill the thing, and they're like, Oh, it's dead, and, like, it somehow still works. Alright. Stream deck is off. I can't see what you're seeing, by the way. So, yeah, there's there's the stream deck. Uh, put that away. I'll purposely put away the webcam last so that I can, uh, get all this majesty on camera until this automatically ends, which should happen, you would think. We'll find out right after this. Hey, this we give that to your errands. I really might be doing that. Oh, it's it's something. No glitches though. I'm still hearing the music of the game. So that's that's getting put away. Uh, da, 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 da. Turn off the egg. I'm gonna turn off the Xbox. I don't need this on right now. Hey yo, do I drive? You really will. All right. Get the Elgato off. Music is cutting. I'll just say, like, I, I can't. I, I can't see the Elgato. I can't see anything. It's still, it's still going. It's still counting this thing. Yeah, I don't know. I guess, I guess that's it. I guess we just stream forever. Yeah, I mean, I can technically do that. So the what the fuck just fell off the table? Right. Hey yo, I I can't see my stream. I I cannot see it. Yeah, 
I'm going to pl- unplug the webcam, and then that's going to probably take it out. All right. There you go. 